Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to maintain deadlock history in SQL Server. Why? Because uh, it's always better uh, to avoid the issues, uh, assuming that this could be an issue. So while performing the tuning, uh, we need to maintain the deadlock history. Um, so one of the into one wherever you want you can to store and so it always better to store uh, in the table format so that I can, we can easily um, uh, I mean pull the data and information I am especially when it comes to me I would like to like the data in table format only okay so right now I am having one beautiful command so if I execute this command one object will get created which is deadlock temp and which is going to see the existing data so by default you know that uh, um, deadlock information will not return into the error log it will be written into the in the default health events so once you enable the respective trace flags you can the deadlock information will get written into the um, error log file so here so once that more events will become that old data will get deleted so for that my aim in this video is limited to the how to maintain deadlock information history so let's now if we let's see that if we maintain any query uh, like uh, if uh, let's see uh, is there any deadlocks in the past happen if I click execute right now I'm having eight deadlocks eight deadlocks means this query is going to pull the transactions which are participated into the uh, deadlock it means right now I am having um, four uh, eight table it means only four of the transactions got failed which is winner and which is the loser so here you can identify victim and zero okay so this is right now I'm having four winners and four losers so the, here you see here on this table A and table B on this table A and table B like this uh, it was uh, I mean it got failure okay so if you see here and we got from meaningful so uh, all log even means RID row identifier it means the table doesn't have any indexes so here we have row identifier it is committed in the read iso level so all it was done by the client app only these are the login names okay so this is the input buffer i mean this is the deadlock graph this is the whole transactions okay this is stack this is uh, so this is all information I have so let's see that so if i go to management and uh, extend events system health package event file click a uh, event like so right now i already filtered so that's the reason i am getting total 32 those the uh, 3211 uh, in that i am having only four events so to filter this so you need to name is equal to xml underscore deadlock report so if i clear this click apply okay see so many events i got so sometimes it will get done click okay so I'm using null okay no problem this way we can avoid that so click okay so I'm having uh, four records if I click this here here you will get this XML report double click on that you will get like this okay so if you are see input buffer commit transactions okay so like this you can get uh, you once you can uh, like that you can save in xdml format so that you can see the deadlock information so this is all you can view so this much we need to filter and everything right so to avoid this what i will do first i will fetch this information from the extended events okay how uh, once that what is done so go to master database uh, refresh go to master uh, refresh tables so here i am having one temple uh, this uh, this query is going to create this table right so now what i will do here so new query window so deadlock underscore history i am clicking execute yeah it was done so now i am having two tables what I will do here, 
I will fetch the information. I will so come down. So I will fetch that uh, information to this. So what I am doing here? Uh, slash select into. So I am telling that. So what are the events? Uh, let's uncomment. Uncomment. Yeah. So what are the events that are happened? Uh, from during the last 15 last 15 minutes back that transactions you have to go to that that into history table so click execute zero rows affected so means there is no history okay uh, so now what I will do I will change to our sir uh, day so last two days so what are the happens in the last two days you just go fetch on this information all these deadlocks are happened in the yesterday only see eight rows got inserted if you see here go to master database uh, master master table see you will get all this information see I am having eight so if you configure this like every one day you want to maintain you just one day you or every day you just minute change the change here and change that okay and put this job to in the data uh, SQL server agent to run that now this is was done now let's see let's create one more table and do that so now I'm creating table A and I'm inserting table B and uh, table so inserting some data in table A and creating one more table called table B and I'm inserting some more data so if I click execute yeah it was done so I'm closing this one transaction so this is transaction one so I'm closing this as one so this is road not transaction one transaction two so this is the transaction one so I'm clicking execute I come and come back execute let's see which transaction got a uh, deadlock let's wait for 15 seconds yeah so now transaction 2 got deadlocked so now if I execute this command I am going to comment this if I execute here this command I will get total 10 So transaction one, it got deadlock, right? So I'm closing all this. Then now go and check this. Now go and check management. Extended event session system health package. So now this is the one, right? This is the latest one. If I click execute, see uh, this transaction 2 got uh, deadlock. So by this, seeing this, we can this that information so which is the transaction I uh, may I mean to say like uh, this is the input buffer okay I got this all the information okay and transaction one and trans over in the deadlock uh, graph itself and if you want to save here you just come here select all files here XTL you select desktop click OK
not bad see so you got this uh, deadlock information okay so so this is how you can take the uh, screenshot and you can send to the application team and you can work with them and you can give your uh, suggestions to avoid these deadlocks so that is the one thing so let's go to this database i'm closing this one this one okay good yeah now see it will take some time to get the data so right now i am having two in two two right so if you go here and closing this and i'm coming back here now i'm uncommenting this Now what I will do, I will tell minutes. So the, the last one minute, if any second, if any uh, deadlock happens in last one minute, it going to fetch that insert. Okay. So no one record, but I will tell last 15 minutes. Two records. Okay. So this is how you can maintain. And if you want to filter as well, if you go on here, go to master database, master table. Now we are having history, right? So right click select star from time i am just streaming all this select star from history close all this one if i click execute see i got total now i want to know last 15 minutes or last at what time it was happening you can use this transaction where a uh, transaction statement transaction transaction time and which date it was happened where transaction transaction time is equal to so you can filter like that so you can use where command okay i will give you one more so this is one of the way but uh, passing every time this kind of uh, thing is not possible right so i am giving one more uh, commands so here i am using cast function to convert this as a date okay so using this if you want to filter so specific date uh, you can pass this scenario or otherwise you can use date part using date part you can use our if you want to fix from last 15 minutes is there any transactions happen you can use and click execute i'm having two so i got this one okay so if any date parts happen last one day so this is the okay see last two days greater than it should be equal okay and so that's the reason so you can use the where filter commands and everything uh, accurately okay so this is greater than two okay 
you can use this so using this command okay you can filter that everything okay i'm giving this command for you as well you give you can use date part and everything okay and uh, you can uh, fetch so this is how you can maintain the deadlock information uh, in the table i am going to give these commands uh, try to pro implement the same in your production and based on the results you can cautiously use this uh, in your production i hope uh, you may like this video thank you bye